Hey, everybody. This week, I am the host of the Mixability Challenge at Split Coast, and I decided to use an April Showers Bring May Flowers theme and ask people to make freeform watercolor flowers. And you're not going to believe how easy this is. You can use any watercolor, you can use reinkers. All you need is a paintbrush and some water. And what I'm doing here is painting just blobs of water onto watercolor paper. This is Strathmore Ready Cut. And I'm using my Mission Gold watercolor. I have those off camera. First, I just touch the brush with a lighter red to the blob. And then I come back with a darker red. And then my favorite magic trick, I touch the center with a little bit of yellow. Most yellow pigments will sort of push other pigments away. And so it gives you that beautiful flower center. Flower number two, same thing. Paint a blob. Paint a light pink. Add a rose. Let go of your OCD. Don't try to make a flower shape at all with the water. I think it's prettier and more fun and more sort of dreamy if you just let it happen. And I try not to overwork them too much. That's something, it's very hard to resist overworking, but I think you'll be happier if you don't. So on to flower number three. We are less than two minutes into this card and it's almost done, which is one of the things that I really love about watercolor. Add a little bit of yellow to the center. I got a lot of yellow pop on this one, which I love. So I went back and added a little bit more. I also have a tiny bit of white space showing through, which I like. Now I've let that air dry. I wanted the hard edges at the edge of the flowers, so I let it air dry. But you can also use your heat gun if you want. Just know that the pigment is going to get pushed around a bit if you do. Now I'm taking the same paintbrush. I'm using silver brushes here. They're the Black Velvet series. I love these brushes. And I'm just doing very quick little flicks to give the appearance of stems with just a light olive color from the Mission Gold. And then I'm also going to flick up from the bottom of the cardstock to add just a little bit of texture, some grass. It looked a little empty to me and I didn't really want to fill in with a sky. I wanted the white of the paper to show through. And I'm lining this up on my grid pad just to be sure that when I cut it down for a card front that my image fills the entire space and I don't have a white section at the bottom. So that's what you'll see me doing there. I needed a little darker green so I picked up just a little bit more paint. I actually don't have much paint on this palette. I was swatching when I created the palette and so I didn't intend to actually fill them and so I need a little bit more paint on here. But it's okay because I wanted this to be soft. So I just finish up with the grass and then when the card was done I added some Nuvo drops in the center as well as some Wink of Stella just for a little bit of shimmer. But you can see how easy and fun these freeform watercolor flowers are. So I hope you join us at the Mixability Challenge, and I hope you try this for yourself. Thanks so much for watching.